it was everyone else telling me what's happening to Asians that weren't Asians. Well, this goes back to tradition, you know, Asian people don't want to get involved or get or, or speak up with their voice. And that's the problem with why celebrities who are Asian don't really have that voice either because they're not getting that kind of attention. So what do you mean by that? With the celebrities? Well, I mean, in general, like let's, let's say you have celebrities that are Asian, they're trying to, before when they couldn't speak up, they wanted to speak up about something, right? But it might, it might affect their career in some kind of way. It might make them look bad in some, some light. But now that the, the story and the rhetoric about about Asian American attacks is on the news everywhere. It's okay for them to talk now about it. Now they speak up, yeah. And honestly, I mean, it, it's sad to say that that has to happen, but it's happening now and people are speaking up, which is fantastic. That's, that's what we need. And, oh. and honestly, this story shouldn't end. It should, we should keep, on, we should keep this um, continuing. There was this Asian actor. He's half Korean, half white. The news cycle goes so fast these days, yeah. but I think it was a couple of weeks ago where he said something like, I wish I spoke up about this earlier. And part of him was ashamed to come out or afraid because he's Asian. He wasn't sure how it would, if there would be any backlash. I think part of that is why he was hesitant to come out about it. And I guess enough was enough where he felt, all right, I got to say something now. Yeah. And then I hear something on both sides where people congratulated him for finally coming out, was there for him and, mm. and uh, looked at it in a positive light. And then right. you get the other side, and there was a lot of people on that side too where they looked at him like, oh, you're just doing it now because it's like what you were saying. It's the story now. You know, ultimately, whichever, whichever reason it is for doing it, as long as he's speaking up, that's what we need. Exactly. It, it, yeah. it doesn't matter why, like, why he's doing it. It's just that he is doing it. That's what makes, makes the most sense. Yeah. Because if he speaks up, then someone will speak up too. It's so that, easy to focus on the negatives in every exactly. situation. Right. Yeah. That's an important takeaway is that there's more people willing to speak up. Now, whether it's for social points or... I mean, however their agenda lies, as long as it brings awareness, as long as Asians are the ones that are telling the stories about us now, mm -hmm. I think that's the big takeaway. Lucky Boys Podcast. Why do you think it's happening? Is it, a, is it mental illness? Is it I mean, racism? Can, like, what the... Is it gang initiations? I'm hearing like so many different reasons why. And I also heard that there was some kind of uh, sick game happening if you slap an Asian um, or some right. shit like that. So and I, you I, get points or something. Yeah, yeah. Some, exactly. So I, I think there's, there's a lot of reasons why this is happening, right? Um, and I think a lot of it does come from the anti-Asian rhetoric set forth by the previous president. Um, it's a combination of so many social issues put together, right? It's, 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 it's the president. It was... Uh, the, the frustration from maybe like unemployment, it's the whole lockdown from COVID, right? All of these factors are now meshed in one. And it's people's, and also just to add to that, I think it's people's uh, disdain for China, right? Right, And they somehow want to take it on the local people it's, here. It's also a blame game. It's, it's the, a blame when, game. when things aren't going right, and who do you blame here's for? What no one is, here's what no one is really saying too. I see a lot of, I hear a lot of tones that reflect jealousy. If it isn't jealousy directly, because they're masking it, but when you read the subtext of what they're saying, a lot of it sounds like the cousin of jealousy. Right. Well, well, it's the model. Oh, you, you yeah. are all successful, so F you. And I'm like, what, what? Well, that's, that's the model Completely minority myth. Right? It's we'll like that when right you're now. in yeah. school and you're the kid that's getting mm -hmm. A's and the kid that's getting C's, D's, and F's, they wanna jump on you. But the truth is, not all Asians get the A's. Not mm -hmm. all Asians are rich. Actually, in New, York, in New York City, we have one of the highest poverty rates. It's true. It's really, yeah. really true. You know? That's not the fact that they want to hear. And this is, goes back to what we were talking about prior to going live is that, you know, what really sucks is that when this was first happening or even before COVID, I mean, this was already happening, right? But it, it became more prevalent. It became more chronic when COVID hit and news media picked up mm. the story and more celebrities slowly began to trickle out and speak out against this. And these high profile cases with deaths occurring unprovoked. Mm. Now there's a big light on this. And it's at this point, it comes to a point where it's irrefutable. However, however, prior to all that, it was everyone else telling me what's happening to Asians that weren't Asians. Right. And I was there scratching my head. Mm -hmm. I go, what? They're saying, oh, it's not, it doesn't exist, it's bullshit. 
It's just it's just a one one off scenario, and I'm like, no, it's not. Well, man. this goes back to tradition. You know, Asian people don't want to get involved or get or, or speak up with their voice, and that's the problem with why celebrities who are Asian don't really have that voice either because they're not getting that kind of attention. So, what do you mean by that? With the celebrities? Well, I mean in general. Like, let's, let's say you have celebrities that are Asian. They're trying to before when they couldn't speak up, they wanted to speak up about something, right? But it might, it might affect their career in some kind of way. It might make them look bad in some some light. But now that the, the story and the rhetoric about, about Asian American attacks is all the news everywhere. It's okay for them to talk about it. Now they speak up, yeah. And honestly, I mean, it, it's sad to say that that has to happen, but it's happening now and people are speaking up, which is fantastic. That's, that's what we need. And, and honestly, this story shouldn't end. It should, we should keep, on, we should keep this um, continuing. There was this Asian actor. He's half Korean, half white. The news cycle goes so fast these days, yeah. but I think it was a couple of weeks ago where he said something like, I wish I spoke up about this earlier. And part of him was ashamed to come out or afraid because he's Asian. He wasn't sure how it would, if there would be any backlash. I think part of that is why he was hesitant to come out about it. And I guess enough was enough where he felt, all right, I got to say something now. Yeah. And then I hear something on both sides where people congratulated him for finally coming out, was there for him. and. Mm-hmm and uh, looked at it in a positive light. And then right. you get the other side, and there was a lot of people on that side too, where they looked at him like, oh, you're just doing it now because it's like what you were saying. It's the story now. You know, ultimately, whichever, whichever reason it is for doing it, as long as he's speaking up, that's what we need. Regardless. Exactly. It, it, yeah. it, it doesn't matter why, like, why he's doing it. It's just that he is doing it. That's what makes, makes the most sense. Yeah. Because if he speaks up, then someone speaks up too. It's so that, easy to focus on the negatives in every exactly. situation. Right. Yeah. Right. That's an important takeaway is that there's more people willing to speak up now whether it's for social points or i mean however their agenda lies as long as it brings awareness as long as asians are the ones that are telling the stories about us now mm-hmm. i think that's the big takeaway and also the story can't end it can't just after let's say a few months it stops and then and we all go back to our labs and just forget about all this it can't be like that it has to be written now and people have to actually speak up and continue this this story it, it, we, we don't want an ending what do you think is the leading cause of it is it racism is it anti-asian rhetoric or is it, do you think it's mental illness i think uh, like i said I think before, or something else it, 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 it's, it's hard a, to say yeah, but there's so many mesh. things that go into it i mean a lot of times it could be mental illness it could be that too it could be also just this, this um disdain and hate 